Disney is facing backlash from parents nationwide after taking a stand against Florida's parental rights and education law. And our next guest is slamming the company for standing in the way of protecting our children. And now he's taking action. He's organizing a rally outside of the Walt Disney headquarters in Burbank, California, later today. Founder of Hold the Line, Sean Foyt, joins us this morning. Good morning, Sean. Hey, good morning. good morning. Good to be with you. Great to see you and have you on again. Former worship leader at uh, Bethel Church. We listen to your music, love your music. Author, speaker, musician, father of four beautiful children and married his high school sweetheart and then founded uh, Hold the Line. Tell us what that is before we get into, into what you're doing today. Yeah, so this is an activist movement that's to encourage people across America to rise up and stand for biblical values and to really hold the line on all things that we're called to conserve in this season. And in this case, specifically, it's our children. So what are you doing today? Tell us about the rally. So, you know, Disney has entertained our kids for decades. We've loved it. I've taken my kids to Disney World. It's been amazing. They've loved the movies, but they crossed a line in the sand when they began to enable those who want to fight to sexualize our kids. So we started a petition at, at fight, uh, parentsfightback.com, parentsfightback.com. We have 20,000 signatures on that petition. And we thought we got to put feet to that petition. And so we're going to gather today in Burbank at the Disney headquarters, 6 p.m. tonight. We're going to have a rally. We're going to let our voice be heard. We're going to let parents. Uh, we have former Disney employees, current Disney employees. Huh. We have people in the industry, and we're just going to take a stand. Are those current Disney employees worried about the repercussions? They could lose their jobs? You know, I think a lot of them, there's been a lot of internal um, open letters that have been sent to uh, the CEO of Disney that, uh, that employees have signed. And all of those things have been censored on the company. And I think they're ready to show the world, hey, listen, we're not down with this either. Most of the employees, I know a lot of them, they're good, they, they're Christians, they love America, and they just want to create safe content for mm -hmm. children. And they see that their corporation's being hijacked by a bunch of woke, you know, crazy people that are trying to indoctrinate kids with this crazy sexualization. Sean, I mean, Disney's a big company. Are your voices being heard? Is Disney listening to you? You know, I feel like they're gonna they're gonna feel this in their earnings report, and they're also gonna they're gonna feel this as people cancel their subscription as they raise their voice. It always starts small, you know. It starts with something small, but I feel like that there's a snowball that's happening. This is the year of the parents in America. 2022 is the year of the parents, and this is another opportunity for us to rise up and to hold the line. Will you continue to take your children to Disney? You know, I, me and my wife were talking about that last night, you know, preparing for this segment. And I, we have to draw a line in the sand. I, I don't think we're going to do it right now, not until we see them significantly change their ways. I mean, yeah. I can't get up here and host this thing in one sense and then not, not show it with my own family. Sean, thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. You're Thanks welcome. for having me on. You're welcome. Come